Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video showing some of the auto footsie stuff and more importantly how I'm debugging this stuff as it happens. So I've got Karen and Chen Li here in training mode. It's kind of hard to say Chen Li, but the overlay is more important for this video, so just kind of bear with me. So um, I keep having situations where I was just wondering why is the bot getting hit? Why is it doing this thing that's doing that is causing an issue? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spam back fierce until the bot gets crush countered. Now this was happening and I was like why? I don't I don't understand. All my numbers are correct, all my calculations look correct. Why is this happening? And some of you guys might already know what the deal is here, but I'm going to show you guys anyway on here. So you can see sometimes it, when she goes for a crouching roundhouse it works, but if I'm at a distance where right there she does crouching medium kick and it doesn't work. Right there. Okay. This is great. I got it on screen for you guys. So um, this is what I want to show you. Um, in this case, you can see what happened is the medium kick became active, but it whiffed. And then Chun Li hit with back fierce. So um, let's keep doing this till the bot gets crush countered because that's really what I don't want to have happening right there. Oh, I missed it. That was just it. Whiffing. Right there. Oh, that's the bot whiffing. I got crush countered though. Hmm. So it looks like what's actually happening is this may have to do with the um the priority system. So what it looks like may be happening is that the bot is um It's losing to the priority system because of the bot doing a medium kick while Chen Li is doing a fierce. So even though they hit close to the same frame, the fierce one is beating it out. Yeah, that's what looks like it's happening. Um, I'm actually looking. There might be an issue with my overlay right now because I'm looking at it. And I feel like this stuff should be showing on the same frame, but showing one before the other, which is a little weird. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how I've been doing this. Let's see if I can find another example where the bot gets hit where it really shouldn't. Right there. So that's another thing where it's whiffing medium kick. So the bot thinks the range of medium kick is longer than it is, and as a result, it's getting hit from a certain range. Looks like that's it, yeah. Yeah, from this range it's doing the wrong move. There's still some other stuff I need to do. The bot um doesn't it doesn't use um the Y coordinate at all to decide what move to use. So as a result, if there's a move where the hurt box that's extended is high. There we go, we had it for a second. See, it still generally works, but there's a range where, there we go. There's a range where you can see that if the bot were to do standing medium punch to try to hit Chun Li's hand, it would be fine. But since it's going low, it's actually not hitting the hurt box that it's aiming for. So I'm just going to have to add, um, change everything to choosing X distance, C's, X and Y, and then that should fix this. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this is working. It's really, really accurate. It's almost frame perfect to when it punishes. It tries to hit the opponent on the um, the frame before their move becomes active in order to maximize the the base of the most damaging move it can do. So if it if it can go for a fierce punch and hit one frame before the other move becomes active, it goes for that. Um, and with very little effort, it's made the entire bot a lot better because you literally cannot press a button at certain ranges and that was one of the issues that the bot had was that if you were playing footsies with it it would have to kind of guess what option to do and it didn't necessarily hit and with this the bot can easily get that first hit if you're trying to poke around with it 
And I'm gonna try to keep going this route of coding everything kind of generic. Because um, if I am able to do this correctly, the bot would be able to know links not just from me having to like code in combos, but the bot will actually, you know, land a hit and say, okay, can I link after this move? Okay, what can I link after this move? Okay, let me try linking this after this move. And if the bot says, oh, I can't link after this move, it can say, oh, can I cancel this move? What can I cancel this move into? And then kind of go from there. And I think that once I get to that step, I will end up with an AI that can play all the characters um, pretty well. Um, there are some things that I'm gonna have to deal with, like projectiles still aren't really dealt with that well. I think, yeah, the bot right now won't even try to punish that. Um, but for the most part, you can't play footsies against the bot anymore. So you can't put footsies against the bot anymore, and you can't really grab it either because it sees the grab and tries to jab you out of it. I guess you can grab it if you somehow grab the recovery of a move or something, but um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with things are going. By the time West Coast Warzone comes around, this stuff is going to be really, really strong. So um, thank you guys for watching. I'll probably make a couple videos throughout the day as I'm working on this with some more notes, but... Yeah, I'm pretty happy.